So I guess yesterday, August 4th of 2020, there was a massive chemical explosion from chemicals that have been sitting in Lebanon, Beirut for 12 plus years and they were finally mixed together, uh, I'm sure unintentionally, and it created what scientists are classifying as a, a nuke type of explosion. Like it was that wide, it was that severe. And some uh, a viewer reached out to me uh, via Storyfire DMs, and they said that the whole city, the whole thing is is just in rubble right now. Like hundreds of thousands of people injured, some dead, some wounded, some even died while trying to get into a hospital, trying to get their medication so that they could survive because of the hospital capacity and the many citizens that were impacted they couldn't fit everybody in so some people died in line just trying to get themselves taken care of and uh, they're trying to raise as much as 30 billion US dollars it's 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 a lot 30 billion dollars 30 billion US dollars worth of of damage has been done and they need that amount to rebuild and recuperate and you know obviously can't really do much about the, the people that are dead but the people that are wounded are still alive they may be struggling but they're still hanging on they're still with us uh, the buildings and vehicles have turned to complete rubble all of it in debris so many lives have been costed for this and so many have have lost their their families, their jobs, their homes, their means of transportation. They have pretty much nothing. So I would appreciate it a lot. And so would the people in Lebanon. If you would check the description for the link, it will be the only thing in the description below. There will not be any of my social media links. There will not be any uh, membership links as there usually is. So. Um, yeah, this is all about Lebanon and, or Lebanon, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm still trying to get that pronunciation down. Um, but anyways, yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And, uh, here's a, a series of clips that I've received over Twitter, um, from a viewer from Lebanon. The death toll has risen overnight in that massive explosion in Beirut. The death toll has climbed to more than 100 people. This morning, it's said to be the most powerful blast ever seen in a city that was nearly destroyed in a 15-year civil war. Officials believe thousands of tons of ammonium nitrate, a fertilizer chemical often used in bombs, was detonated by a burning warehouse full of fireworks. Good morning, welcome to Breakfast with Charlie State and Louise Minchin. Our headlines today. At least 78 people dead and 4,000 injured in a huge explosion in the Lebanese capital, Beirut. Blast which shook the entire city began with a fire at a warehouse which housed thousands of tons of ammonium nitrate. And we begin with that massive deadly explosion rocking the capital of Lebanon. Look at that. Wow. All right, we have a live look now at this apocalyptic scene in the city of Beirut this morning. It is just utter devastation. And as rescuers search through the rubble, investigators are trying to determine if this was an accident or an act of terror. Our senior foreign correspondent, Ian Panel, is tracking all the latest. Good morning, Ian. Yeah, good morning, George. Lebanon's begun three days of mourning after what can only be described as a national tragedy. You know, we're all struggling to cope with the pandemic, but Lebanon's also in the middle of an economic, health, and political crisis when one of the biggest explosions ever seen erupts in the capital, Beirut. Oh, my... This is the moment the heart of Beirut was shaken to its core. 
The blast at the city's port sending seismic shockwaves through Lebanon's capital. Picked up by earthquake detection equipment. This video from a local church, live streaming at the time, shows how devastating the blast was. Priest running for cover, a stained glass rained down from above. Lebanon's health ministry says at least 100 people were killed and more than 4,000 injured. Already overwhelmed hospitals struggling to care for the wounded.